Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. I hope you're having a beautiful start to the year. Staying well, staying happy. <laughs> uh, apparently walking away from things that are no longer serving you. Okay, for those of you that are new to this channel, welcome. This is an energy channel. I am tuning into your spirit guides and my spirit guides and sometimes ancestors and angels and um, okay and roles can be reversed time can be fluid it may not resonate it is not a personal reading if you would like a personal reading that link is down below or you can find it at mindsetunicorn.me at the end of this reading, I will go and do an extended. That extended will be available on my community Patreon, which is donation based. You pay what you can, or you can just do a one time purchase if you don't want to get into that. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Again, you're kind of back and forth here. Do I stay or do I go? Okay, um, you want to walk away from something but it feels like it's kind of toast toe right your heart knows that you sent a wish out your mind knows that it's on its way back okay this is going to be where you're going to have to decide between that past and that new that new will grow fast it might be very lucky the reason you're fighting it is because you feel like there's going to be a whole lot of mind fuckery if you move forward <coughs> okay so this is about your higher power this is about you um, achieving what you've been creating and not just standing there going in circles around this that you want to release okay so let's take a look here and see what's going on for you okay thank you That was the Eight of Swords trying to sneak out there. All right, Six of Cups on the bottom. Again, <laughs> you're like, I want something divinely attuned to me. And yet you feel kind of, they're using the word schmucky, okay, for wanting that. So let's take a look here, all right. Ace of Cups. Six of Wands and the Hierophant. I think you've learned an awful lot of lessons about how to love yourself and about the keys to unlock your own path. Um, I feel like a lot of these lessons may have come through a friendship that brought you to a higher level of connectivity with yourself this could have been a fire sign they're showing me um but i think before that connection you were kind of a go with the flow sort of a person okay we've got the nine of wands okay crossed by the magician with the devil and the page of cups okay I've been guarding this wish because I don't want anyone to see it. I don't even want myself to see it. I don't even want myself to see it because if I see this wish, then I'm going to geek out. Okay. And if I geek out, then I'm going to freak out and maybe I won't set myself free. Maybe I will. I don't know. Um, 
because I know what, what I'm going after is very different than what I've wanted in the past. Okay. Um, some of you have put in a wish for something that's emotionally available. Something that taps into playfulness with you. And you're a little bit afraid to leave person, place, or thing where you've been dealing with emotional unavailability. Okay. Ace of Swords, Justice, and the Lovers. There's an aspect here where you have to acknowledge the truth here. That something felt like it was more than friendship. Something felt like it was meant for you. Again, person, place, or thing. This is a soul reading. Um, it felt like it was meant for you. And yet, um, they're showing me that there's this, this, this girth, this miles apart. Okay. So let's clarify here. Ace of Cups. Okay. King of Swords in reverse. So again, you had to learn to love yourself. You had to break free of old patterns where you were told quite often that you weren't quite enough. And in order for you to be at your highest self, you really need that blended feminine and masculine. You really need that balance of heart and mind. And um, going with the flow may have worked for you, but it wasn't necessarily aligned to your truth. Six of Wands the world transformation which is death and the four of crystals which is the four of pentacles when this ended it wrote something on your heart and what it wrote on your heart was I need to go back within and do a little more work on myself and that's probably true. I mean, we all get those transitionary stages of I need to go back in and do some work on myself. Okay. But it kind of, I feel like, blocked you from some of your own sensuality. Okay. Or creativity for some of you. The Hierophant. Okay. Eight of Feathers. Do you have the courage to, to unlock that key and go towards what you've been, they're calling it mousing around with? Like you've been taking tiny bites towards this little by little. Do you have the courage to just cut yourself free and just go for it? Nine of Wands crossed by the Magician. Ace of Wands, okay? Again, you've been holding back a lot of this confidence. There's almost like if I if I ring this bell, <laughs> I'm gonna like salivate, right? Like Pavlov, like I, I can't even show myself because of the way that I'm gonna react to it. Two of crystals. It's like you're bouncing around from thing to thing. Your inner child hiding out in your like little pocket, okay? And um, you're like, that's how I keep balanced is I'm adaptable. I just go with the flow and I bounce here and I bounce there and, and this is what you've always done. And that's why this transformation had to come into your life to really open up that heart space to get you to see that that's not fun for you anymore, okay? Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, okay? Again, they're showing me we had the fact that there was that sensuality that was kind of closed off, and there's a desire to be 
seen, not only actionable, but to be seen like I've got swagger, I've got some, I've got some just moves, right? And um, yet you kind of hold it back with the Three of Pentacles here because you base how you swagger on other people still a little bit. Ace of Swords. Knight of Cups crossed by the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you stood in that emotion, okay? You stood in that and it opened up that upper heart chakra and it charmed you and it created passion and yet when you did not have the stamina to move through it, you said, yeah, it just wasn't meant for that, okay? Justice. Nine of feathers and the 10 of feathers. You have a new truth, a new perspective that this actually hurt. What's in the middle here? We've got that four of wands. This really hurt because I stayed with what was comfortable, right? I stayed with what was comfortable and I didn't release things that I should have. And that's what I'm transforming here. Okay, the lovers, the nine of wands, okay, four shells on the bottom. You're soul searching to reevaluate this power, this moon's energy, right? Am I ready to purge? Am I ready to walk away? Am I ready to go for my dreams and see what shows up? Spirit, tell me about this transformation. Thank you. Seven of Winds. Again, you're hiding this cup and um, keeping things secret, even in terms of your own mind in some aspects. Um, not wanting to ruin it. Knight of Acorns, the ten, uh, that's that ten of swords, that ten of winds, okay? You keep going into the cave of the heart. You keep going into the cave of the heart. You go into the cave of the heart, and that cave of the heart, where you look at your fire, it doesn't look right because you're looking at shadows, right? The shadows look like they're this big giant t-rex and it's just somebody walking by with a couple of sticks okay um you've got to come out of that darkness and be seen which is what you want and that's how you'll find this truth nine of acorns ten of tides in reverse you're not going to push through the barrier and actually see what love is or what you want out of love until you take this on, right? Three of fire underneath. You've already started this move forward. You've already put yourself out there. You have some expectations, but your head's so full of shadows that you are struggling with that synergy of your heart and mind right now right so what does the universe say here thank you spirit death in reverse the higher event in reverse and the queen of swords okay this comes back to the that fear of rejection of coming out of the cave and being rejected like i've been rejected before okay you are not going to be who you're meant to be until you allow yourself to go through this trans and you're not going to see what you need to see until you allow yourself that. All right. And that's just what it is. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. You've got to have a conversation with someone that I feel is probably a family member 
and work through some forgiveness. Okay, I think that's the big struggle that you are dealing with right now. Okay. What else could this mean? There's always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask what else could this mean? Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? Okay. Yeah. Your prayers are being answered. It may be that it takes three weeks, three months, okay? Um, but your inner child is really wanting to get out and help you balance this. There's a very synergistic energy here where the mind works with the heart, but your heart is like, what? <laughs> your heart says, I'm not ready for destined love. I'm not ready for that which is going to evolve me. But you actually are. So I'm going to move to the extended and look a little bit more at this. Okay, that link will be down below as well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and help others to find the channel. I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of the week. And um, I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, look at your transits. Look at what's going on. And that might help you if you don't have any idea how to look at your signs. Look at in the um, energetic conversations the video that is titled Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.